small tree. It survived the bloody battles and the decline of the town without a scratch, a sign of hope. Oh, a fluffy, wuffy little bunny rabbit. All white and soft and gentle and sweet. And I just want to cuddle it and... Oh, I'm an adventurer now. I must act like one. It, it's a rabbit, a white one. Here, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Not a chance. It won't let itself be caught that easily. And besides, I wouldn't know what to do with the rabbit anyway. I mean, except just love it a bit. I don't really know what kind of tree it is, but it looks very slender and flexible. There's a small stone beside the large one. It's half buried in the ground. Ugh! I've discovered the secret world of beetles, bugs and fleas and spiders. The beetles don't seem to like the bright light as they're scurrying into the shadows. Not that quick about it though. I could certainly catch a few, but where would I store them? It says, the meadows. No idea what that's supposed to be. Swamp of death. I don't think so. Doesn't sound particularly healthy to me. There have been some heavy battles fought around Seastone in the last few years. It looks like the town definitely sustained some damage. I think that's the town's coat of arms but it's pretty faded and dirty. You can't really see anything. I don't think anyone in my family has ever set foot in a human town before, not even Grandad. Pretty shabby store. Doesn't look like anything's been sold here recently. A pretty shabby store. Some boxes and cartons, they're all empty. The moving companies must have earned a fortune when the city was abandoned. They earned some good coin. They're firmly in goblin hands and no one really likes to negotiate with them about prices. A very dirty drain. The sewer should be down there somewhere. A very dirty drain. The cart is pretty overgrown. It obviously hasn't been moved in months. There's a sack on the cart. Something about the smell tells me it's probably full of rotten grain. Nothing for me there. What kind of name is that? I've never been to a tavern with a more ridiculous name. Well, then again, I've never actually been to a human tavern before. Halt! Access only for authorised persons. Shield hand, are you the guard of the upper gate? Dead right. And you don't have access to the upper town. Um, uh... As I already mentioned to you at the outer gate, I must speak to the Archmage. It's urgent. And as I've already mentioned to you, the guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. But why didn't you say you were the guard? Well, I wasn't on duty, and you shouldn't mix business with pleasure. Anyway, it's much funnier this way. <laughs> hmm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. There has to be a way to get to see the Archmage. What would I have to do? Only people with personal invitations from the Archmage himself are allowed in. Do you have an invitation? Of course. And? Where is it? 
It's, uh, ooh, it's an invisible invitation. An invisible invitation? Really? Yes, from the um, Unseen University. Never heard of it. So, where's the invitation? My, uh, oh, oh, my dog ate it. I have no time for this. So, where's the invitation? You don't need to see my invitation. I certainly do. You don't need to see my invitation. <sighs> you really believe that'll work? It was worth a try, wasn't it? Not really. So, where's the invitation? No, unfortunately not. Well, there you go. Without an invitation, there's no way you'll ever be admitted to see the Archmage. But you could be admitted, of course. <laughs> if you were a mage yourself. Mages are allowed to speak with the Archmage? Naturally. He's the head of the Order, after all. You know any mages by any chance? Well, I'd, I'd like to be one myself. <laughs> and I'd like to be a dewdrop on a wood elf's butt cheek. Really? Why? Well, I... Look, only mages or people with invitations can get into the tower. So I'd be able to see the Archmage if I was accompanied by a mage? No, the mage would be allowed up, not you. But you could, say, give a message to the mage. But I must speak to the Archmage himself, and I have to give him something. Well then, you must be a mage yourself. <laughs> How do you know whether someone is a mage or not? Their magical aura? Or by the charisma and wisdom they radiate? By their mage diploma. Huh? Every trained mage has a mage diploma. They can show it to me here, and then I let them into the upper town. So that means if I show you a mage diploma, I can see the archmage? Well, show me an honestly acquired mage's diploma, made out in your name, and I'll take you to the archmage myself. If there's no other way, then I'll just end up being the first magician in the Weathervane family. <laughs> Good luck. You'll find the mage teacher in the tavern. Just see what he thinks of the idea. <laughs> How can I become an accredited mage, then? You? Not at all. <laughs> and how do others do it? Well, there are mage schools. There's one just down the street, Master Marcus's Magical Mage School. But Master Marcus shut up shop weeks ago. Now he spends the whole day sitting in the tavern playing some kind of role-play game. I'm going to get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man, there's no way I can do a full course of mage training just to get into the Archmage's Tower. Maybe the mage teacher will lend me a diploma. And once I've given up the ring, well, maybe I could really take a stab at it. A basket. It belongs to Mr. Shieldhand. It contains the rest of his giant sandwich. This fruit looks like grapes. In truth, they're grapes from a poison ivy. I was bedridden for two weeks because of those as a child, and I read about Nightilo's adventures. Halt! Access only for authorised persons. Or has Mr Gnome become a mage in the meantime? <laughs> Not yet. There are two signs on the door. One says, Master Marcus's Magic Mage School. The other says, back soon. Both signs are covered in cobwebs. They must have been hanging there for days or even weeks. No one home. The door is locked. No one home. You hear a lot of bad things about rundown taverns. On the other hand, they're often the starting point of many a fantastic adventure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't had enough of those yet. Ah! 
Have you got Form 12B for me? Oh, the blue one. No, it's just a green one. Hurry up. The post office is about to close for lunch. You're going to the post office? Oh, I'll come with you. I need a delivery note and I want to send off a registered letter. What... what are you doing? What do you think? You can see what we're doing. We're playing! Oh, damn, I've forgotten my ID card. You can have a copy of your passport certified by a solicitor. Hang on, I'll mark the solicitor for you on the map. What... what are you playing? The only true kind of game, a role-playing game. And what is this role-playing game all about? It's set in a fantasy world. Totally without dragons, orcs, and magic. But instead... Oh! Here, here, here! Come over here! I found the tax inspector! Wait for me! I'll be there in a sec! Once I've got this stamp, I can finally conclude the fiscal year! You know what that means? Tax, tax office. office! And... And you really enjoy playing the game? Of course! Certainly. You can escape the tedium of reality with all its magic and monsters. And you meet new people. It's not only us who play this game. It's played all over the world. There are six people currently online. Well, four if you don't include us. But one's just gone off to the toilet. And and when when is the game over? When, when have you won? One. There is no winner. Just like in real life. The game has no end. You just keep on playing and... Oh! Oh! A traffic warden's wanting to write me a ticket! Leave her! Leave her! That's a hard quest series. You can try to lodge a written appeal and then you have to... Oh. So the game never ends? Great. Might I ask you who you both are? Of course. I'm Jack Smith, level 42 consultant at a medium-sized cooperative bank. But I want to retrain as a tax consultant with specialization in tax-effective investments. They have really fabulous skill trees. And I'm Mary Ellen Skittles, level 40, local government officer. My bicycle's got a three-speed gear. I've not the slightest idea what those two are talking about. Maybe it's a role-player thing. I meant, who are you two in real life? Oh, right. I used to be a successful merchant. I had a shop here in town and lots of market stalls. Now all I own is that knackered old stall outside the door there. No customers, no business. Then maybe I could buy something from you. Yeah, yeah, great. Why, um, whatever. And who are you? I'm Master Marcus, the local mage teacher. You're the mage teacher? Could you maybe... Shh! The game started. Master Marcus, I need... Uh... Shh! I'm playing. Yes, but I urgently need... Uh... Later! But without a mage diploma, I can't... Listen, I really haven't got time right now. My character's tax return is due. I've been playing towards it for days. Not a prayer. I'm not going to get a blessed thing from Master Marcus as long as that game is running. A wooden box full of tools, including, amongst other things, a saw. Of course, the saw doesn't meet the norm tool safety regulations and it's a tad rusty. Still, I think it's usable. Mum bottles apple sauce in jars like that back home. Ours are smaller though. The shelves are full of dusty bottles and tankards. Some are still half full. Perhaps the owners are to leave town in a hurry. From butter beer to pumpkin juice to fire whiskey. It's all here, but I don't need any of that. Splendid two-pointer. Perhaps the inn gets its name from the boar's head. 
These two use the same machine to play their strange role-playing game. My family would just love this. I don't understand what's being displayed there or what these two are entering, but the machine seems to be functioning perfectly. I don't understand what's being dis... A door bearing a sign that says server's room, no entry. No choice. What the? A hairy demon. He's, he's operating a machine. The demon seems to be busy. He probably has to toil day and night just to keep the game going. It doesn't look like he makes many mistakes. If I want the players to quit the game due to technical problems, I'm going to have to help out a little. Oh, demon! Hear my words! They call me Wilbur Weathervin! As one might imagine, I didn't understand a single word of that. There are a lot of index cards in the filing cabinet. Each card bears a small table and a picture. The cards are sorted alphabetically. Hmm, let's see. Rare watering can, volume 5 litres. Used for geraniums, increases potted plant lifespan by 2. Epic folder, offers room for up to 16 forms. Slip resistant suspenders, prevent sock slippage. Hmm, these index cards seem to contain descriptions of all the items in the game. Now, let's see if we can annoy the demon. <laughs> Whoa, that demon's fast. He must have amazing intellectual powers. The waste bin is right under the slot in the machine. Strange. The waste bin is empty. The waste bin is empty. For save games. Sorry, couldn't resist. The safe is locked and there's no way I can crack it either. The chair looks just like the chair the demon is sitting on. I guess it's a replacement chair. The chair looks just like the chair the demon is sitting on. I guess it's a replacement chair. A small black container. It could be an inkwell. The demon might notice if I were to take his inkwell and exact a terrible revenge. The demon might... The server is so busy working that he won't notice a thing. The chair is still standing, but it should tip over pretty easily. I saw the base of the replacement chair. The chair will collapse as soon as someone sits on it. Time for another go. That would have hurt the being made of flesh and blood. Hey, what's going on? Ugh, nothing's working. Has the server crashed? Oh, oh, and I'm standing in a restricted parking zone right now. Oh, I've just about had enough of this. You pay all that money month after month, the developers make huge profits and still nothing works. Everything I've got is junk. All a whole load of Totally outdated technology. I've had enough. I'm writing a complaint. If they don't get their technical problems under control, then I'm out of here. Absolutely. Me too. Excellent. It looks like all I have to do is ensure a second technical problem and the two will finally stop playing.
The first complaint from the players landed right in the waste bin. The first complaint... He seems to have survived the crash well enough. He seems to have survived the... The demon might notice... I think I've strained the database enough. It says online, whatever that means. Excuse me. Mm. Hmm? And playing pleasure still unimpaired? To be honest, these constant technical problems irritate me. Robbing so-and-sos! They screw us for one gold piece a week. And that's with six players worldwide. Think about it. That's six gold pieces a week. You think with that kind of dosh they could buy some better technology? Precisely, but it's still fun nevertheless. Yes, just. And this device, what does it do? What indeed? We type in our input and the machine shows us what everyone else is doing. It saves our equipment and controls the characters that aren't being controlled by other players. And how does it work? No idea. That thing is linked to a server somehow and that takes care of running it. Then best of luck in wherever. Mm. Hmm. Thanks for nothing. You know, that's about the silliest game I've ever heard of. Why would anyone flee from their own world into a fantasy world in order to complete meaningless tasks? Those bugs are sure to be still there. Yep, there they are. Okay then, I'll collect some of those bugs in the jar. Done. Ooh, beetles, bugs and all sorts of creepy crawlies are scurrying around inside the jar. Ah! Oh, what's going on now? The server's gone crazy. Completely buggy. Ah! That's it. I can't be buffered anymore. I'm checking this heap. They'll suffer the consequences for what they're doing. Right. Well, I'll give them one more chance. But just one. Not like we couldn't stop if we wanted to. We could, but we don't want to. Too right. Except if they don't get the grips with their problems. Then it's over. Write that to them. No way. What will it take to finally get those two to stop playing? The demon might notice if... The server seems to be bug-free again. At least he's back to working as usual. Excuse me. Hmm? Hmm? Why are you still playing in the face of all these technical problems? Quite honestly, I'm fed up with it. You just want to play in peace and time and again the technology screws it up for you. I really can't be bothered with it anymore. 
If there's just one more disaster, that'll be it as far as I'm concerned. Oh, come on. Let's go and see if anything's happening at the driving license issuing office. Hmm. If we have to. Wouldn't you rather just quit playing? Maybe you're right, but I've just got to fill out this form. And then I must get a new cleaning cloth for my glasses. And we need to go and pick up the rent subsidy certificate down at the citizen's residential registration office. Oh, right. But then we can extend the loan period at the library while we're at it. Maybe one of the books is even overdue. Uh, I fear I have to ensure there's a third technical problem. Well then, see you. Mm. Hmm. Thanks for nothing. Hey, what did you just hide there? Uh, nothing. I saw you eating something, and then you hid it when you saw me. What was it? You what? I wasn't eating anything. Oh, yes, you were. It was a long, yellow thing. And if I was? And that's a whole crateful that's been delivered. And I'm taking the rest of the monkey just as soon as I have my next break period. That... that's food for the hairy demon in the tavern. What do you mean, a demon? That's a monkey. A what? A monkey. Monkeys love bananas. And... me too. Isn't it dangerous for humans to eat demon food? What? Bananas are delicious. The monkey goes crazy for them. Isn't it dangerous for humans to eat... What? Would you let me try a banana? Mm, no. I've already eaten two, and the monkey still needs to have some. Sorry. If you would excuse me, I have to uh, guard the town. You want to eat more of them, right? Perhaps. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Wilbur. About the... F yes? Where did you get the demon food? The roleplay company sends a crate every week by air freight. I receive them and take them to the tavern. And it doesn't bother anyone that you take a couple of those things from every delivery? Uh, um... Well, perhaps it's not officially. And if I were to tell the Archmage, wouldn't he punish you? Perhaps. But how are you going to meet the Archmage? You got a mage diploma? <laughs> Those two players get really upset about technical difficulties in their role-playing game. Yes. And? Could the difficulties be related to the fact that someone is depriving the hairy demon of his food? Um, well, no. I can't imagine that. What if we ask the merchant and the mage teacher what they think about it? After all, they pay a lot of money to ensure that the game works. Well, I... And if it really is due to the lack of fruit, maybe they would like their money back. All right. Here's a banana. You have to peel the skin off it before you can eat it. Now get out of here. Oh, thanks ever so much. distract him with this. Hey, demon, look what I have here. What's going on now? Can you do anything? No, everything's locked up. I've got lag. Lag. I'm not going to get upset about it. Why should I get upset about it? What? I started playing this game because it was fun. It isn't anymore. <laughs> and if it isn't fun, then you should just stop playing it. Devil! Bill, are you all right? 
Bill, you, you've got to breathe. Come on, let's get some fresh air. We'll pick up where we left off in a few days, OK? I did it. At last, they stopped playing. I'll be able to have a halfway normal conversation with them now. The mage teacher simply must lend me a diploma. How else can I get into the tower? A weather vane in a mage school. I wonder if my parents will be able to accept the fact that I'm different. Oh, wow! Can I help you? I need to see the Archmage, Master Marcus. It's urgent. Why are you bothering me with that? The Archmage and I, we aren't necessarily the best of friends. I can't get into the upper part of the town without a mage diploma. I understand, and what should I do about it? I thought, well, maybe you could lend me a diploma. I urgently need to give something to the Archmage. Something important for the good of the world. Everything the good does is, after all, important, right? But I can't help you. I can't just award degrees to any old Tom, Dick or Harry. The Mage Guild already has me under close scrutiny. Is there really no other way? I must give the Archmage something important. I'm not going to take it to him. And Bill the Merchant is not permitted in the upper town. There's the town guard. He could take it up there for you. I... I... I can't. I swore to give it to the Archmage personally. Then, my little friend, you're going to have to become a mage graduate. <laughs> Why don't you like the Archmage? Did he do something to you? No, no, it's... No, no, it's... It's just that we've known each other for aeons. You could say all our lives, really. And he... he gets on my nerves. Why? His raised index finger. His idealism, his... He always just sees the good in everything. What's wrong with believing in good? Nothing. I used to as well. But when you look at what's happened to this town, what's happening to so many other towns, then you really have to be an idiot not to doubt everything. I see no reason to. Then you're just a happy gnome. Can I do that? Become a certified mage, I mean? Of course. Anyone can be whatever they want, if only they desire it enough. Yes, that's true. No, it's not. But I can try, can't I? Most people have so little magic in them that they can't even cast one itty-bitty spell in their whole life. I want to try. Don't be silly. What else should I do? I'm certainly not going to just sit around here and do nothing. So, can I become a student? <sighs> All right, then, Mr. Gnome. Wilbur Weathervane. Then, Wilbur Weathervane, if you want to be admitted to this mage school of excellence, you will need three things. You need a mage's robe. Not just any old rags, of course. Something substantial made of magical fabric. Then you need a wand. That's your most important tool as a mage. Well, besides your mind. And thirdly... A pile of gold. Gold? A whole pile of it. If I'm going to be wasting my time, I at least want to get paid for it. Fine. And how fast can I complete my diploma? That depends entirely on you. As a pupil of this establishment, you can take your exam at any time. Some manage very quickly. Most never pass at all. 
You wouldn't perhaps have an old robe I could wear? Certainly not. Not in your size anyway, little man. Anyway, it's tradition for the prospective mage to tailor their first robe themselves. Can you sew? Well, I was always good at handicrafts. That's good. You can't imagine how ridiculous lots of these mages look with their self-tailored robes. Or oh, without them, when a gust of wind blows. Mage robes have to be made out of a special, magical fabric. It protects you from many simple spells and curses. But for that, it has to be sewn using a magical needle as well. Hmm, so I need a magically treated cloth and a needle and thread. That much is clear. And I need a pattern. I mean, it's not like I know a lot about magic robes. Can I buy a magic wand here in the school? Or is there somewhere else I can find one? You can't just buy any old wand. The wand has to fit the mage, you understand? The wand picks the mage, not the other way around. Ask Bill the Merchant if he's got a couple of wands. Lots of good mages have died recently. Perhaps you'll get lucky. I'm a poor gnome. Where am I supposed to get a pile of gold? If I knew where there were piles of gold just lying around, then I would have helped myself by now, don't you think? Can't I just work off my debt once you've accepted me as a student? Ah, a gnome can't earn that much with honest work. You don't expect me to steal, do you? There are many gradations between honest work and stealing. Take Whooperman, the showman. He's very rich, and that without ever having worked, and without ever stealing. How does that work? He knows people's folly and makes use of it. Ask him. How can I find him? His wagon is out there on the meadow. Here, take this. A postcard? It shows you the most important points around here. You can use it to quickly get between one place and another. Whoa! Nice glasses you're wearing. Hmm? Oh, these. These are magic glasses. We mages can read invisible secret texts with them. Something like that really exists? Of course. Many mages are very distrustful and guard their knowledge like a treasure. And what are you reading there? The weekly magical paper. Classified section. Wow! I'll go and get what I need then. If you say so.